So I wanted to do a quick video about the iPad Pro. I have the 12.9 inch, currently streaming a soccer game. And the whole goal of this is to replace my MacBook Pro. That's the reason why I got it. And unfortunately I ran into a situation here. Um, this is the USB type C adapter that allows you to use a, any USB peripheral. Now, unfortunately I found out the hard way that this guy right here, this is my blue Yeti. Uh, that I plan on using to record podcasts. Um, sorry, this is kind of loud. So I'm using this to record podcasts and voiceovers and stuff. Now the problem is, if you use this guy, the iPad won't detect it. And I found out why. The, the Yeti draw, uh, draws too much power. So I had to do some research and it found, finds out that you have to buy this guy instead. Um, this is actually what I thought was to run your iPad to like a television because it has the HDMI, but it's also to basically power your iPad, a USB device and connect it to TV. So this is the adapter you actually need to drive this guy and most microphones, unfortunately. So in order to kind of pull this off, you also have to consider the fact that since this has to be plugged into power, the cable that your iPad comes with is I think one meter long. This is the power adapter here. So you also have to get one of these guys. This is a six foot type C to type C cable. So it's just a really an inconvenience, right? Because they are marketing this thing as like a pro device, you know, that you're gonna be able to do all the things that you could do from your Mac onto here, but with an asterisk, right? You have to buy the keyboard, which is a $200 accessory. You have to buy this adapter, which is a $70 accessory. And you have to go out of your way to, if you don't own one, get like a really long lengthy cable to run this to the wall and drive your, your devices. So these are just like the little things to consider, the little caveats that you have to keep in mind if you're trying to replace a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air. And it gets close, and this thing does really well uh, on certain aspects, but for the little things like this, it can be really annoying. So I just wanted to record myself um, showing you how this works. This is the adapter, uh, USB type C. I'm running power directly to the wall. And then this is for my Blue Yeti, it's plugged in. Uh, the light is red, it's working. And for those who are wondering, um, yes, the headphone jack does work. So I'm right now in GarageBand and I can hear myself. I turn the monitor on and it's using the external microphone. So if I hit the mute button, I shouldn't be able to hear myself and I don't. So let me turn the mute button off. Oh, there it is. So it was very confusing, right? Because I had this adapter and I had this plugged into the iPad, but it was misleading because the Yeti light turned on, which I assume was working. And then when I was in GarageBand, I could see the little green light, like it was recording myself. But then I realized it was just using the internal mic that's built into the iPad. It wasn't actually using the Blue Yeti. And I was able to test that because when I hit the mute button, uh, it was still capturing my, my voice. As you can see right now, there's no nothing going in. So. For those who are trying to do a podcast off your iPad or they need to use a microphone for their iPad, or maybe you're using another type of USB peripheral and it's not responding with this $20 accessory, unfortunately, you're gonna to have to cave in and buy this more expensive adapter uh, that requires power through. Uh, and then you can plug in whatever USB peripheral you, you own. And I guess you do get the benefit that you will get an HDMI out, um, but, with the HDMI out, you're just basically screen mirroring whatever's on here uh, to a TV or a monitor. You're not actually able to use it as a second monitor, um, at least not right now, not with iPad OS or anything like that. Um, but I hope this clears up any confusion. Uh, I had the same confusion and frustrations and now I'm able to record in GarageBand and I'm very excited um, to be able to hopefully replace my MacBook Pro.